Welcome back. This is Daybreak. We're live from Nairobi. In case you're just tuning in, we're having a discussion on where we are as the state of the nation. And before we took that commercial break, um, Edwin Sifun, I know you also had a comment to you wanted to add to this yeah. before we can go to the next topic. Yeah, uh, I was a bit disappointed uh, by the angle that uh, my brother Okango took. He has a, a national platform to try and explain uh, to the people what uh, this bill of theirs is all about. But you can see that they have also chosen heckling as a means to achieve constitutional Now you're going to make which a is not going to right. reply. Yeah, he, will reply. he will reply. It is not going to be a simple. I want to break this thing down for you. I have said at the beginning of this program that we owe it to Kenyans to put information at their disposal that will enable them to make an informed decision. Mm -hmm. So instead of telling us, oh, these people are wanatuonea, sisi ni wadogo, sijui, the idea come, came from where, let me tell you, you are, you are accusing BBI of sitting somewhere in a room with 5,000 people, which is more than five times the number of members of Third Way Alliance, yet they sat in a room three people, and they came up with a bill and put it to How Kenyans. How do you know they said three people? I know the numbers. Them. Now, let me, let me say this. <laughs> let me say this. Yes. What I would like to hear from uh, Okango is to address the issues that we have pointed out in the bill itself. Uh, for instance, Okango, explain to Kenyans how you are going to deal with the constitutional chaos that is going to arise from the fact that you are amending one part of the constitution without realizing that there is another that talks about the same thing. Those are the things we would like you to address. Uh, the issue you are talking about of consultation, it is what exactly the BBI is trying to do. Uh, and I want to advise my brother Kabogo because he asked a very fundamental, uh, fundamental question. When was this audit of what is wrong? Uh, with the constitution of what is not working take place. It is taking place now. If you look at uh, uh, the flow of activities from the BBI, first of all, these two leaders came up with a document, which is a memorandum between the two of them. What part of Highlighting, the just a minute, just a minute. Just a minute. There is no constitutional provision that says Waihiga and I can have a handshake. You don't need a constitutional provision to realize as leaders that we have done wrong but the by money ourselves, that the, that by the our BBI people. Will use. For, just let me explain these things to you, okay. Wahiga, because ahead. I don't want you to go the way of third way of heckling. This I'm is what is, go this is, what is going to happen. <laughs> this, is, this is what I want to explain. Go ahead. The, bill, the, the MOU between Uhuru and uh, Raila Odinga has nine issues, which they identify that as leaders and say these are the things that have brought us all these problems all this time. They identified corruption, they identified divisive elections, they have identified lack of inclusivity, and all these things have given birth to a conversation. So people are asking the question uh, from those nine points. If you wanted to deal with the lack of inclusivity in public institutions in this country, how would you do it? If you wanted to strengthen devolution, for instance, and devolution is a creature of the Constitution, how would you do it? That is where the conversation has begun. And the BBA has taken time to go to Kenyans and ask them their views on all these issues. Now, uh, the Article 257 that he talks about in the Constitution gives you an uh, option as a proposal of constitutional amendments to come up with general suggestions first. Then let Kenyans debate and enrich it before you come up with a bill. Now, they chose to forego all that and went straight to produce a bill. What we are saying is now, Okango must explain to Kenyans how the proposals in that bill is going to work. I will give you another example. No, they have proposed, mm -hmm. for instance, in the bill, and it's quite shameful that I'm the one who's bringing out the, uh, <coughs> the, their proposals and yet the SG is here. They have proposed in the bill that we are going to scrap the, co the constituencies and make the county the basis of election of members of parliament. Now, that presents a few problems. Number one, we have a history in this country of underrepresentation of certain communities, especially where they live in areas where they are dominated by a large tribe. We gave example of the Kuria in uh, uh, Migori, the Sabaoti in Bungoma, and the Taveta in Taita Taveta. So right now, the Kurias have representation because they have two constituencies, and they vote and, uh, and elect people. If you make Migori one constituency, the Kuria will always be dominated by the Luo, who are the majority tribe. Okay. They will okay. not get representation. Okay. Number two, you are saying that uh, the county is the, is the constituency, and yet you are saying the senator will be elected by that same constituency as the members of parliament. On what basis would you make then the senator, the boss or, or somebody with veto power over uh, members of parliament elected by the same constituency? So Fair those enough. are the things that Wait, they should I'll, address. If, if uh, me, because yes, let, 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 let me finish. Let me matter, finish, um, please. Matter, okay. Let me finish. Your last point, please. Let me finish. SG, last point. Wanasema wa Swahili, kenge atasalia kuwa kenge. Hageuki akawa mamba. So we are not in competition. This is not a pageant 
to show who's most pretty or uh, uh, the most popular at this moment. As Kabogo has said, it is a serious discussion because this constitution will be a constitution for all of us, not just third way or the three people in third way. Okay, uh, fair uh, enough. Go ahead. Uh, Waiga, I, I, I just want to make a few remarks on uh, what uh, Sefuna said, which are not true. Uh, number one, I would want us to go into substantive debate. Let us not use this platform to critique what we can otherwise come with Sifuna and talk about. So we'll invite us with Sifuna and I'll explain to him and Kenyans what the bill is because he has not tried it. He's speaking from here. Number two, inclusivity that he's talking about, the true meaning of inclusivity is when every Kenyan in this country can access the equitable share of the natural resources. That is inclusivity. And it is not about giving five people positions. No, that is not it. Number, the last one on this is the value of representation. Sifuna is forgetting that the value of re representation is resources. When you devolve funds and take them to the smallest unit of devolution called the ward, and in that ward you can have hospitals, water, electricity, roads, schools, that one now everyone is equal in this country. And those Kuria is talking about, they belong to a word. Those Migori residents are talking about, they belong to a word. And therefore, in our view, just like he said their views, in our views, when we went and asked Kenyans, between overrepresentation and services closer to you, which one would you choose? They said, we want services closer to us. I think we can move to the next stop. We can move to that. Briefly, constitutional chaos is something that he said your bill will cause if what, it becomes What law. chaos? What chaos? There is no chaos. When you amend the constitution, the reason why the draft of that constitution gave us an amendment clause, so that any time there's an issue that Kenyans feel that we need to amend, they can look at it and amend it. Without looking at the others. You don't need to go and form a task force that is amorphous, that is unconstitutional, an agreement between two people. You don't need to. But they have a right to form that. We uploaded them because it brought sanity. But in their TORs, there was nowhere in that Gazette notice that said, you know what, out of these nine points, go and amend the question. That is amorphous, it is unconstitutional, it is duplicious in fact. Okay, mm -hmm. fair enough. Zinzi, I think it's right. a good time no, to, to switch to the, 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 debate, the debate about Katiba is a very serious matter. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was hoping that at some point we may say, <clears throat> yes, they've done a good job to start with. <clears throat> Can that document that they have done become a discussion document. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, as it is now, it's a bill. All right. So we leave you it as that, that a discussion. A bill. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? So you would have wanted it, them to slow down. If we could have if a chance to, to, to participate, to participate mm -hmm. and, you know, as Kenyans, without thinking about who is the author of the bill, what is it that could be <coughs> added to what they have done to make this constitution a good document. For example, there are very good things in the current Katiba about integrity. Have they been used? Have we? Mm -hmm. Do we have leaders who are not supposed to be in leadership because of their integrity? Yes, we have. But we have a Katiba that speaks, is it chapter 6 or chapter 10? That, 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 that speaks about integrity. <coughs> we are not worried about these things. So it's <coughs> not about the position of ODM or uh, the Kenya third way lands, Kenya. it's about <coughs> Kenya. It's about Kenya. And there are some of us who think about Kenya because we think about ourselves. Speaking you about see what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. If BBI comes up with a report, will it be sent back to the members of the public to yes. discuss? Because I see them going around and they're they are taking views. They Remember the other day you? I said, I, was, I have participated. You have participated. The other day I said, <coughs> make video clips available to Kenyans make your summaries for the week what are kenyans saying don't go and stage meetings there put things on paper and then come and tell us it's kenyans who say it you, you understand what i'm saying <coughs> it is good to have a cohesive nation it is good to have a unified nation but it is also very wrong to imagine that you must be the one 